How's it going everyone? Man Spider here, bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. And today is a really awesome one because I am announcing the winner of the giveaway. So again, this is the giveaway for Arceus and Dioga and Palkia GX. Now, if you're not familiar, this giveaway was as a huge thank you to everyone for hitting 100 subscribers as well as 1,000 views from our first video in the same week. More for the subscribers though. Um, so again, a huge thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel. Um, it's awesome. Like, this is a hobby for me, and I'm trying to produce content that is informative and educational. It's helping people get into the game, and of course, entertaining. I want to try and just create content that you guys enjoy watching, and that hopefully you get some kicks out of it, and maybe even learn some good plays, see some bad plays, and learn from them. So again, thank you everyone for the awesome support. I cannot believe it. As of right now, I checked this morning, my channel's like 170 views, which is just cra 170 subscribers, which is just crazy. Um, yeah, I'm blown away by it. So, wow. Thank you everyone. So, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the Arceus, Dioga, and Palkia GX giveaway. Now, I'm using a random comment picker, um, just in my browser. Uh, I've got to open a separate window just because my OBS is only recording my game. So yeah, let's jump into it. So, uh, copy and cross my video URL. Uh, I'm filtering duplicate users, so only one comment per person I'm counting. And yeah, let's do it. So, get YouTube comments. And there are 27 unique uh, commenters. So, hey, 1 in 27 chance. That's not bad. And let's see. 3, 2, 1. Start raffle and pick a random winner. And the winner is N with the comment, remember us when you're famous. So again, the winner is N with the comment, remember us when you're famous. Thank you so much N and congratulations. Please comment your uh, Pokemon username so I can add you as a friend and then set up this trade. And again, legit, send me an energy, whatever you're never gonna use. This is as much of a giveaway as I can do it in Pokemon TCG. So, N, congratulations, my friend. You've picked up Arceus and Dioga and Palkia GX. Um, yeah, congratulations, man. I'm glad you won it. So, I I'm going to be doing more of these giveaways when I hit 500 and 1,000 um, subscribers. My next goal is 500, which is, like, crazy for me. I never thought my channel would ever grow that large. Uh, so, I'm really trying to push towards that. Uh, the prize for that... As of right now, and what I'm pretty sure it's going to be, is... Uh, yeah, I'm just got this trade. I'm going to be giving away five Sword and Shield booster packs. I have got five unlocked packs ready for trade. I've got a lot of packs actually sitting waiting. But I have five unlocked packs ready for trade for Sword and Shield. That is going to be my 500 subscribers giveaway. So I'll announce this again when I'm close to the, to the time. Uh, but just so everyone is aware, I do plan on doing this in the future again. I like giving back. I like saying thank you. Um, and yeah, let's let's see how big we can make this. Uh, I am sort of going to be focusing on Pokemon TCG in the foreseeable future. I am looking at maybe starting a new game. Um, as those of you who do know, I do own a Switch. And I've been looking for a new game. I'm basically just playing Diablo with the recent seasons over and over. Um, I'm looking at Animal Crossing as a maybe pickup. Let me know if you want to see me playing Animal Crossing. Um, ideally, I want to pick up a game that I can showcase and have fun showcasing. Uh, as of right now, I've never played Animal Crossing in my life. Like, none of the games whatsoever. I've never played any of them. I know from, like, one review I've watched of the game and from everyone commenting on Facebook saying it's an awesome game and it's worth picking up. So, I'm considering it. Let me know, um, would anyone be keen to see Animal Crossing videos? I know it's a huge trend at the moment. Uh, I will try and make tutorials for it and tips and tricks more than just general gameplay. I feel like there's a lot of gameplay for Animal Crossing out there. Um, so if I can do like tips, tricks, hints, things to help, that's more along the lines of what I would do. And I'll probably do like a video a week to get started. So still focus on maybe two or three Pokemon videos a week. And then like one Animal Crossing video on the weekend to like get people into it and see how it goes. But yeah, that's just my idea, my thoughts going. So let me know, please. Comment down below if you'd actually be keen to see Animal Crossing. Um, and yeah, going forward from that. I did see recently that the new 
uh, theme decks coming to Pokemon TCG. They're a plan for the 1st of May, and they are the Zamazentronization theme decks. It's basically it's going to be like Unseen Depths and Towering Heights with Kyogre and Groudon. So the Zacian and the Zamazetra theme decks were planned for the 1st of May. Um, so leading up to that, you might see a few less new theme decks, as I plan on actually saving up a thousand points just to pick up those two decks. Uh, I'm actually quite keen for those. I like Sword and Shield. I really enjoy playing Shield on my Switch. Um, I've played quite a lot of it. I like the new Pokemon. Like, I'm really loving the Galar region. And the theme decks so far that have come out are... They, they're nice theme decks, but they're not super competitive. Um, and I'd like to see more of them, because I think there's a lot of potential in the Sword and Shield set. And I'd like to see more of it showcased. Uh, I know, obviously, if you're playing Standard, you've seen a lot more of it. I don't play that much Standard. I mainly play the theme decks. Well, I only play the theme format. It's just what I prefer, and it's what I unfortunately have time for, as I'm still working a full-time job. Um, so... I'm super keen for those theme decks. I'm hoping they're not going to be delayed. But yeah, that's hopefully for May 1st. And yeah, for the rest of this video, I actually want to do some pack openings. I'm sitting with a lot of packs at the moment. Uh, so I want to do a few pack openings. Also, currently, I'm sure most of you are aware, there's the spring event happening in Pokemon TCG. And I just got my rewards, this most recent login. And wow, are they cool rewards. I got two booster packs. I think it was actually, uh, I know I got a tag team and I want to say I got a unified minds. No, I got a tag team and I got a sword and shield lock pack as well as 500 pokey points just for logging in. So if you're not playing at a re on a regular basis, I would suggest playing like at least this next week or two. So if you're not familiar with the spring challenge, you're getting free stuff every week apparently as well as double uh, points for the trend tokens for versus rewards for your wins. Um, so it's a bit more of a regular double bonus, which is quite cool if you're grinding out trend tokens. And yeah, the random rewards seem to be really, really awesome. So let's pick, open up some packs and just see how it goes. Um, maybe when I've opened enough boosters, I'll start putting together an actual standard deck. I know I bought one previously as a draft, which was terrible. <laughs> it was an awful deck. Um, so I think maybe when I pick up a few more cards and actually get something a, like a bit more together, I might um, actually put a standard deck together and give it a try. Electromagnetic wall. As long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever your opponent attaches energy from his or her hand to one of his or her, the few damage counts on this Pokemon. Ow. That is painful. That is awesome, but that is painful. Wow. Okay. Between every one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Eh. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, that's a pretty cool card. Very mean. Okay, uh, that was pretty cool. Let's open another. So yeah, I just want to open up all my packs. I haven't done it in a while. Don't worry, I'm not going to be opening up my Sword and Shields. Those are definitely being saved for... Hopefully, when I get to 500. Um, I, like, I really enjoy game, uh, trading card games. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering. Well, this is really cool. Aqualift. It's a Pokemon that's any... It has no retreat cost. Nah, I always like that ability. Pretty average card off that. Oh, hey, nice. Full art TV reporter foil. Draw three cards, then discard a card from your hand. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. Eh, ah, it's a cool card, though. Uh, Mars Royal. Eh, ah, that's, that's a decent set. Um, because, like, I enjoy trading card games. I've always enjoyed building decks. Uh, it's just, at the moment, in the foreseeable future, put it this way, I don't have enough time to really get into standard format. And as I've said before, I don't, unfortunately, have a store anywhere near me which is why i don't play the physical version anymore oh that's a beautiful dragolga poison cultivation if your opponent's active pokemon is poisoned put 10 damage counters put 10 damage counters instead of one on that pokemon between turns oh wow okay that is awesome <laughs> so 100 damage from poison oh i'd love to build a deck around that that sounds like a lot of fun and does no grim marking. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, is knocked up by damage from an opponent's attack. Put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. That's pretty cool. Psych up during your next turn. Pokemon Psych up attack does 60 more damage. I'm liking low energy costs. This is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, interesting. Um, so I, like I said, I might start looking at building a just a fun standard deck. It's by no means going to be super competitive, um, but just. 
as a matter of interest from all these boosts I'm opening up. Oh uh, god, it's not so great. Hey, Weezing. Blow away bomb. Once during your turn, you, when you discard this Pokemon with the effect of Roxy, you may put one damage count on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Eh. Eh. It's cool, but... Eh. Okay, let's see. Lost Thunder, what do we get? Uh, unfortunately, none of these can be traded away because they all are locked cards. Um, I don't have that much tradable value, unfortunately. Um, I'll certainly go through them and see if I've got anything interesting, but I don't think I have that much. Trumpy, once during your turn before you attack, if the Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put this Pokemon in the Lost Zone. If that card is a supporter card, you may put it in the Lost Zone. If your opponent has no card in the deck, you can't use this ability. Eh. Not great, not bad, but it's alright. Hey, Chuckle GX, nice! Protective Shell. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energies attached to them. That's a really cool GX. And Triple Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put three damage counts instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. And then Wrap GX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Ah, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, that's a really cool ch Chuckle, actually. Um, yeah, I like that. That was a cool draw. Okay, I do see I have one unlock booster with this. Um, hey, maybe I get something cool. I see it does go through the locked boosters first, which is also something I was checking. So I can actually open up some of the sword and shields just to showcase them. I am such a sucker for grass type Pokemon, especially, well, grass type and Pokemon TCG and bug types. I love bug types. I actually finished sword and shield with a bug type um, uh, party. Grass cushion. If this Pokemon has any grass energy attached to it, it takes 30 less damage from attack. Eh, that's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I don't know why. I've always been a suck for grass types. Ferrothorn. Guard press. For his next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage. Eh. Thorn pod throw, 8 damage. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of steel energy this, uh, attached to this Pokemon to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. You can't do more than 100 damage to a bench Pokemon this way. How's everyone? Sorry, I've had serious issues with my connection there. Um, but I'm back, and let's carry on going through my boosters. Um, so yeah, so it does look like it goes through your locked boosters first, which means I can open up some Storm Shield ones. And see some new cards, actually. Okay, um, nothing too fantastic here. Oh, that is a beautiful Zorok. Torn, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon and Night Punishment. It's like this 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Oh, that's very nice. And, hey, Primate! Wreck, if there are any stadium cards in play, this attack does 80 more damage than discard the stadium card. Eh. <laughs> That's pretty trash, but it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. What else do we get? Um, eh, some pretty cool cards. Nu uh, Nuzzly Gathering. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for Pokemon that has a Nuzzle attack. Veal it and put it into your hand. Oh, that's quite cool. And... Oh. Nice shiny there. Special combo. You can use attack only if you're Hitmonchan. You used hit and run during your last turn. This attack does nice damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's, it's too much to actually get it off effectively. Hey, Moltres. Top burner. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. Fire energy from this Pokemon. Then discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck for each energy you discarded this way. And then fire spin. Discard three energies from this Pokemon. That's pretty cool. You can... So, like, I love the milling concept of milling down your opponent's deck. So, like, I love, like, that top burner. Essentially, you play Welder. You weld up this Moltres and then you just discard the top X number of cards from your opponent's deck. I like it. Um, I know it's not a super effective way to build a deck. And I know it's not a super effective strategy. But I do find a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's just something I've always enjoyed. Oh, hey, it's my most loved Golduck. <laughs> it is a foil one, though, so it is a, it is a beautiful card. And then Kabutops, Fossilized Memories. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand. That's quite cool. It's unfortunate it has to be your active Pokemon, but hey. And then Rock Slide, this attack does 20 damage to, what, to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's actually pretty cool. That's that's actually a pretty cool card. The fact that you're blocking your opponent's um, supporter cards is awesome. And you're still hitting two of their bench Pokemon for 20 damage each. It's pretty cool. Um, defensive scales prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. Eh. Eh. Not bad. Ooh, and a Jirachi. Stellar Wish. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may look at the top five cards of your deck. 
reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand. Then shuffle all other cards back into your deck and this Pokemon is now asleep. Okay. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's certainly interesting. Um, Alright, let's move on to the Unbroken Bonds booster pack. What do we get? Also, if you see anything that like would work together to make a deck, please let me know. Because as I've said before, I'm not familiar with standard meta or deck building a Pokemon for a very, very long time. So if you see anything interesting, please certainly do comment. Ah, boring pack. Uh, certainly do comment, let me know. Um, if there's like some decks you think I should try and put together, uh, I'm all ears. Let's see, what do we get? Dugong! Dual Blizzard discard two energies from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Huh, that's not bad. And Crobat. I love Crobat. I always have Crobat in my party. Sound Veil. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. That's quite cool. And then Severe Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, but uh, put four damage counts instead of one. I like it because it's 60 damage plus the additional 40. So you're dealing 100 damage essentially, which is super, super cool. I like that Crobat. I am quite a sucker for poison type Pokemon as well. Bug and Poison, I don't know why. I've always been super keen on Bug and Poison. Beastbringer. If you have exactly six prize cards remaining, and if your opponent's active Pokemon GX or active EX is knocked out by damage from an attack of the Ultra Beast, this card is attached to, take one more prize card. Uh, yeah. Eh. Ooh, Karim. Call forth cold. Search your deck for a water energy card and attach to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. That's not bad, actually. And then Hail Prison. Discard two water energy from this Pokemon. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Eh. It's, it's, it's pretty aggro. Hey, Slowbro. Yawn. Your opponent's Pokemon is now asleep. And three strikes. Flip three coins. Attack does 100 damage for each heads. If all of them are tails, you lose this game. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. <laughs> if you just fail your foes, you just lose. I love that so much. <laughs> um, I would totally run that card. <laughs> I know you have the chance to just lose the game, but I would 100% run that card. I love that. <laughs> um, round and round. <laughs> Um, you can use the ability only if you go second. Once during your first turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon confused. That's actually not bad. Um, it's decent if you're going second. Ah, oh, I'm in love with that card. <laughs> Shadow Pain. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put six damage counts on your opponent's uh, Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX any way you like. That's pretty cool. If your opponent's running GX or EXs, and then Twilight Poison, your opponent's X Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. Very cool. I'm seeing a lot of Psychic Pokemon. I might be able to make a Psychic deck, which is interesting to me. Um, oh, wait. I, just hit get, I think I just hit get more. I don't want to get more from the shops. I'm saving up for many a more um, theme deck, as you're well aware. I've got about another 40 to go through, at least. <laughs> this is going to be a while. Okay, let's take a look at the Unified Minds. Let's see. Do we get anything interesting? So, Unified Minds, we get, uh, eh, not bad, decent, eh, beautiful Heracross, turn the tables. If one of your opponent's Pokemon use a GX attack during their last turn, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon or cards, eh, it's too situational. And Drapion, Cross Poison, flip four coins, attacks us 50 damage for each head, for these two of them were heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. So you got like a 50% chance to also poison, it's not bad. Uh, it's not super great, but it's certainly not bad. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Uh, nothing fa Oh, Misty's Favor. Search your deck up to three supporter cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. Wow, that's nice. That's really cool. And Drif uh, Drifblim. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch your active tag team Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. That's, that's not bad, actually. Um, yeah, that can come in super handy. I'm still, I'm still hooked up with that, that three strikes. I'm loving it. Mermaid's Call. Once during your turn before you attack, you may put a Misty's Favor card from your discard pile into your hand. What? That is so broken. You can just get all of your supporter cards into your hand. Oh my word. 
We can top four cards of either player's deck and put them back in any order. That can actually be really useful. And Honchcrow. Sharp shooting. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon and then Dark Cutter, 60 damage. Interesting. So you can either hit the active Pokemon for 60 or one of their bench for 30. Yeah, not bad. Those Misty cards are actually really cool as well. I like it. Being able to just like bring out any supporter cards you want. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Hey, Livany. Blanket Weaver. Your grass Pokemon take 40 less damage from your opponent's attacks. You can't apply more than one Blanket Weaver ability at a time. That's super cool though, that you're just taking 40 less damage. Wow, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I I don't know how effective it is, but hey. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a card for each of the remaining prize cards. Oh, okay, that's not as great as I thought it was. That's pretty cool that you're just taking 40 less damage. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I like it. All right, let's see. Uh, another Lapras with Mermaid's Call. Interesting, certainly interesting. Um, Excadrill, shuffle four cards with Discard Pile onto a deck. Eh, it, it's good, but eh. Eh. Okay, let's pick up. I'm gonna open the four locked Sword and Shields that I have. Um, I'm certainly not gonna open the unlocked ones because those are prizes for later down the line. So let's see what Sword and Shield cards we can get. Um, anything interesting? I got two nice cards, which is quite cool. Smog, the active Pokemon is now poisoned. Eh, pretty cool. Reflect, you take 40 less damage in the next turn. Interesting. Quick Ball, you can play this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Eh, not bad. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Oh, we got the nice Intellion, and it's a foil. Shady Dealings, when one, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. This Intellion, I wish... The theme decks came with the Pokemon ability Intellion, Willowbroom, and Cinderace. They are so much better. And then Acrobullet, this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Like, if the Intellion theme deck ran this Intellion, it would be awesome. And I would love it. I think the Pokemon ability versions are leagues better than the standard ones. Granted, yes, they only have one attack. So much better. So much better. And what do we get? Oh, hello, Torkoal V. Uh, 210 HP, Combustion Pillar. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a Fire Energy card, this attack does 90 more damage. Basically the same as the old Entei. And then Steam Crush. Discard two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow, you can shut down your opponent with that. That is just mean. You would have to run, I think you would have to run, run Welder with this, but wow. Uh, granted, your opponent gets two prize cards that knock this out, but that's still awesome. Okay, so we've got this pack and then two more to open before I can I have to stop. Um, a Lanoon, nice dust. Which one? Yeah, not the bad. Uh, I'm interested. With, like with the Galarian, um, the other line of Lanoon, so that uh, cause your opponent to take damage are quite interesting. And this drizzle again. Why not use this drizzle with Shady Dealings? When you evolve it, you get to um, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it and put it into your hand. So much better. This would have made a super interesting theme deck and I don't know why they didn't go for it. <sighs> it bugs me. Hey, a nice foily Maractus, which I do like. Oh, hello, another V card. Lapras V, 210 HP for Body Surf. Attach a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon. If you do, Switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. Interesting. And then Ocean Loop. Put two water energy. Uh, attach this Pokemon into your hand. Okay. It, interesting. I, I like it. I'm not sure how to make it into a deck off the bat. But it's certainly interesting. Okay, let's see. This is the second last one I'm going to be opening. Um, Furrothorn. Triple Smash. Flip the coin to the damage and an energy slap. Yeah, move all energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. That's actually awesome. If this Pokemon's about to go down, you just get all the energy off of it. That's really cool. Uh, retrieval. What do we get? Um, hey! A uh, Grapple Locked. Uh, Octolock. Until this uh, Grapple Locked leaves, play leaves the active spot, the defending Pokemon's attacks cost two more energy, and the defending Pokemon can't retreat. This effect can't be applied more than once. And then Tough Swing. This attack damage isn't affected by resistance. This is a super interesting card. 
I like the Octolock ability. I wish it did like 10 damage. Uh, but it is super, super interesting. Because you're forcing your opponent to use like a trainer switch out. Or they're just going to be sitting there and most likely not doing anything. I like it. It is super, super interesting. And then our next one is Zamazenta V. Dauntless Shield. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. And Assault Tackle. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Beautiful card. That's a really cool card just to add to my collection. And then this is the last one I'm going to be opening because I don't want to take away from my uh, potential prize. People love the same card. Wow. Hey, oh, yeah, nice 40 Diglett. Yeah, it's just pretty. And we've got ourselves a Knocked Owl. Uh, carry off. Choose one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. They shuffle that Pokemon all attached cards into their deck. Then shuffle this Pokemon all attached cards into your deck. Eh. Eh. Nah, it's not for me. Okay. So close to clicking the wrong button there. And let's see what our six uncommon chests bring us. So, some Poke Points, five Poke Points. Not too interested in that. And our nice card is a Excadrill. Cool. Uh, I put it on the cards I got. And a Pharaoh. Draw run double, flip a coin, if heads has got two energies from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's actually really cool. And let's go, another! We get ourselves a Dana. Very, very nice. You can play this card only if your opponent's active Pokemon is a stage two. Switch deck from two cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Really cool, but really situational. Um, yeah. Okay, what do we get? We get a... Hey, Giratina. Distortion door. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your discard pile, you may put it in, uh, onto your bench. If you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's super cool. Wow, that's actually super cool. I like that. Um, if there was a way to move it from your bench to your discard pile like, every turn, that'd be super cool. Island challenge amulet. Eh, not so great. And what do we get next? We get ourselves a Hitmon Chan. Oh, that actually works with a combo one. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Ah, interesting. It, it's a cool combo, it's a flavorful combo, but eh. Okay, well, that is all our packs finally opened. I can actually open up and maybe make a theme deck, a uh, standard deck sometime down the line. But let's see how it goes. I'm really invested in doing the theme deck so far. I'm really enjoying doing the theme deck so far. So, as of our next video, it is going to be taking a look at the Imperial Command deck. So again, Thank you so much to everyone who has been watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. It still blows me away, and I'm glad I can make content that you're enjoying watching. And again, if you've made it this far into the video, N, don't forget, leave a comment with your, um, your name so I can add you as a friend and send you your awesome, awesome card. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please do consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out, and it gets us closer to those five Sword and Shield boots packs that'll be given away to one of the commenters. Thanks again, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.